Liverpool are elite. They are now top of the Premier League. They've just come back against Brighton to win 2-1 at home. Wave after wave after wave of attacks. Their character they showed in that game. Brighton are, are a very funny team. You never really know which, which Brighton you're going to get. One minute they're slapping teams, the next minute they're not. Liverpool had over 30 shots in that game. Salah, Mr. Clutch, Mr. Liverpool delivers yet again. If you're enjoying this content, please do go down and smash a like on the video if you haven't already. We are approaching 3,000 subscribers, which is insane. But what a game of football. There was a lot of pressure on Liverpool today. They had to go out and win. The big, big game this afternoon, Manchester City versus Arsenal. But everyone was watching Liverpool beforehand and they had to win to still cement their self in this title race. If they would have lost today, it would have been a completely different outcome. But as it stands, Liverpool won 67 points, Arsenal won 64, Manchester City are on 63. What a game of football, genuinely. Let's, let's talk about the first goal. Brighton go 1-0 up against the run of play and it's that guy again. Danny Welbeck, that guy Wolves. He always manages to score big goals in, in very strange, strange times. I mean, he's a very disrespected player, Danny Welbeck, in my opinion. Scores against the run of play, and you're thinking Liverpool now have got to show character. They've got to go out there and deliver now. You, you're 1-0 down. You're at Anfield. The big game's on later this afternoon. You haven't started the game well. Liverpool respond absolutely brilliantly. 15, 20 minutes later, Luis Diaz gets a massive goal. And then after that, I thought Liverpool would go get a third, fourth or a fifth and go and absolutely smash the life out of Brighton. But Brighton hung in there. They played some good stuff. They are a good footballing team, but they're just a funny team. Like I said, you never know which team's going to turn up. But McAllister today was absolutely insane. The best player on the pitch by a mile. Absolutely unbelievable. We'll talk about the second goal that come, uh, in a second. But his performance, the, the way I think he's, I think he's a very underrated player in that Liverpool side. Everyone talks about Van Dijk. Everyone talks about Allison, Trent, Robertson, Salah, Nunes. But McAllister genuinely has got to be one of the signings of the season. Today, his performance was quality. Absolute quality. His touch, the passes in behind, the tackles. You know, he's got, getting leadership now. He's talking to players. He's getting the, getting the troops going. And against his old team today, against Brighton, which are a very good football inside, he was head and shoulders above everyone in that midfield. For me, the best player on the pitch by a mile. You know, the second goal from Liverpool, Sobers life fizzes it in with pace. The first touch from McAllister is exquisite. The pass between the lines, which sets up Liverpool's winning goal from Mohamed Salah, the pass in between the lines, the weight of the pass is absolutely world class. Salah finishes it, makes it 2 1 to Liverpool. And they absolutely deserved it. There was a few nervy moments at the end, which you're obviously going to get, but Liverpool probably should have had a third or a fourth. They did have to go in the back of the net again. Unbelievable pass from Salah. That was ruled out as offside. I think Salah was good today. I don't think it was his best game. I think he was quite greedy. I think he broke his record for most shots in the game. I think he had 11 or 12. A little bit greedy at times. Probably could have played in Sobers Live. Probably could have played in Nunes. But of course, he's going to want to do that. He wants to get his team back in back in front. 16 goals this season. Drew, uh, currently drawing with Dominic Solanke, Oli Watkins, and he's two behind Erling Haaland. Now, of course, the big game this afternoon... If you're a Liverpool fan, you're probably going to want a draw, which will put Liverpool on 67, Arsenal on 65 and City on 63. When you look at Liverpool's remaining fixtures, we've got Sheffield United on Thursday. I think they, they quite easily will go and put three or four goals past them. They've got Crystal Palace at home. They've got Fulham away. Manchester United away is probably going to be their hardest game throughout the remainder of the season. And if you're a Liverpool fan now, you, that is everything you wanted today. It was a good performance, you know. They got a comfortable tie in the Europa League. Salah gets the goal. I thought Diaz was very good again today. Another good performance from him. It was good to see that Cody Gakpo, um, he, he hasn't been too great. He come on at the end. Ryan Gravenberch come on in from injury. Connor Bradley as well. That guy has got an absolute engine. 
He is everywhere. It, it, absolutely everywhere. Like, and you've got big boots to fill when you're coming in and replacing Trent Alexander-Arnold. But the young man has done absolutely brilliant. And not only that, Kelleher as well. Kelleher, another, another good performance, you know, replacing Allison. Like these are these are big names in that Liverpool team, and it doesn't seem to phase them. You know, Kelleher, I think, would be good enough to be a number one in most teams in the Premier League now. And Connor Bradley looks a looks a f- fantastic player. Got so geezer has got three lungs. He's got he's just absolutely insane. You know, a man of the match performance from McAllister, a good performance overall from Liverpool. And when you look at it now, Liverpool have got the job done. All eyes will be on the next match. They've got winnable games coming up. They've got a winnable tie in the Europa League. Jurgen Klopp could quite easily win the Premier League and the Europa League. The only team he's really got to watch out for is Bayer Leverkusen. That being said, they haven't got an easy tie against West Ham. And I feel the pressure that was on Liverpool and they've overcome it and they just keep on winning. They just keep on winning games. I don't know how many on the trot that is in the Premier League, but it's whether it's 1-0 at the, at the death against Nottingham Forest, whether it's you know, winning the FA Cup, uh, winning the League Cup with the kids, whether it's battering Sparta Pra and Southampton in other competitions, but they just got this mentality to go until the very, very end, even though they're, they're 2 1 up in the 94th minute and they're still trying to get another goal. Like most teams would want to see the, see the game out, take the ball into the corner flag, have a couple of, uh, win a couple of tactical fouls, you get a corner, leave it there. You know, they just want to keep on going. And that's the Jurgen Klopp mentality. And it's his last season. And they are fighting until the very, very end. There's nine games remaining in the Premier League right now for Liverpool. And, sorry, eight games remaining. No, it's nine games remaining. Nine games remaining in the Premier League for Liverpool. And majority of their fixtures, other than Tottenham and Manchester United, I think Liverpool will win comfortably. And at the moment, if the, if the game later is a draw... I think Liverpool go and win the Premier League. It's such... This game, Manchester United versus Arsenal, is the biggest game in the title race. Because Liverpool have got the job done. So all all eyes... I think there's huge pressure on Arsenal today. But if the game ends a draw, I think Liverpool go and do it. I think Liverpool will win, go and win the Premier League if the game is a draw today. Because I don't... Like, the momentum they've got. And you've got the likes of Trent coming back. You've got the likes of Alisson coming back. Ryan Gravenberch is back. Cody Gakpo is back. A lot of their... Jota will be back next month as well. And we're going into the business end of the season with all their best players coming back. And yet again, they just keep on winning. It doesn't matter whether, who the personnel is in the system. The performance levels do not drop. It's genuinely insane. It's insane right now. You know, it's going to be an interesting title race. But if it's a draw, I think Liverpool will go and do it. Let me know your thoughts down below if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. I 